Hey, Gina. Yeah, people might notice that I have a bit of a squiggly voice. It's from having that, you know, allergies and all kinds of coughs post -nasal and everything. Drip. Yeah, post nasal drip. And where are we now? We're at, show where we are. Walk up and show. We're in in Florida now, in Fabulous. Gatorland. Gatorland. Yes, and um, it's just you and me. You know, Herb is doing. You know, busy. Busy making money so we can do this. And Dweebo doesn't like to fly. No. And I will say Which, with. It was After a good choice. <laughs> you know, you're lucky that we're here right now because... We went through a storm called Brutus. Yes. it was a brute. And the plane was like this, like boom, 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 everywhere. Like the most... A little upsetting. The worst the turbulence least. I've ever seen, my, I've ever experienced. Yep. And it was basically 10 minutes of that. Normally you it hear it one or... It up a while. It was bad. And here's the Gatorland mouth. And you used to actually, walk. as far as I can remember, walk through it. Yeah, I think And I then go inside. But now they've moved it, they've changed it. It's a lot different than when we were because now the ticket booth is over there. It seems real different too to me. I don't know. It's like real stuff. No, it's definitely been oh fixed my. up. There's actually a line at Gator Lake. I know. Normally you come here, there's not a soul in this joint. Oh, what the hell? Gina, are you going to pay the extra $2 for that train? I suppose I will. I guess we've got no choice. I'll keep throwing money at it. I know. So we got our Gatorland uh, wristbands. Yes, we did. And what were you going to say? Is, this little spot I remember just for the sake of Dweebo. This is a little shout out to Dweebo. This was the throw up spot. Yeah, the one year he was having the <laughs> throwing year, up it like was crazy. Like the Florida water was not agreeing with him everywhere. Alligators. Alligators. And then, you think they still serve? Those really peculiar gator nuggets. I believe they do because I saw. Oh no, these are the shows. Yeah, there's the map. Yeah, they used to have those weird like out. You know, it come here and eat alligators. Meat. It was gator. I wouldn't meat. do that. Like, wouldn't you like you come here and see them and then you want to eat them? Absolutely. I guess that's what you want to do. Now, Gina, you think we should go and walk through this thing and you know, get get all wet and everything? You want me to do a wet t-shirt contest here? I'm sure some of the gator wrestlers would enjoy it. I'll go in then. Yeah, it would encourage them to get more daring with the gators. Yeah, maybe. Remember when we went here years and years ago, when it used to be kind of more of a hole in the wall? And one guy did everything. Yeah, like he, he ran, the, he the, ran train. the train over there that used then to be he, that way. He wrestled the gators, then he fed the gators. I think he, he I, yeah. Then he jumped back on the train, then he jumped back. We might have even got the it tickets from It was sort of him. a semi-joke. But we and actually, the tickets. Yeah, he did everything. And the gift shop. It was a little bit like Thousand Corpses, like Captain Spaulding did it all. He did it all. But like, here's these turtles that are like, um, you know, you don't know how old they are. They could be like, who knows how old. But these are probably the same ones we saw years ago. Very old, very sickly. Can't, can't they be like in their hundreds? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, who knows? Look at this one's in the water. I don't think that's real, is it? That's moving. Oh, oh yeah. It looked like a statue one. His for... hand is moving. Look how big he yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, oh, he is. What but didn't he look like a statue at first? No. He, to me, I thought he was a statue. And look at this area. This is the bird shit zone. Look. No, I don't like the bird shit. Look at all of the bird shit. And look at all those birds. Hey, birds, I'm ready for you to shit on me. Oh, my God. Any of you guys want to come take a dump on my head? Oh, you, here he comes. Yeah, he's going to take a big dump on you. Let's like, yeah, buddy, here I come. That's what it is. You stand right there, yeah, and they and they have the water zone, and then the bird shit zone right there. Ew. Look at all that. Ew. Here's the old train we used to go on. What was that one guy doing everything? Yeah, it used to go right around, right around those what the gators themselves, like near the lake. Like if you fell in, it'd be the end. And if Wetmy was here, I'm sure I'd have to oh, dare him to walk him all, those, all steps. those steps. Yeah, and then go to the top, and he, I'm sure he'd like. Flash or do something insane. You want to go on that? I guess we might as well. Okay. We paid the two dollars. Down along the way, charging folks ten cents piece. Come take a look at this modern day dinosaur. Squeaky. Squeaky. Freaky trees.
I think that kind of speaks for itself. Right, Gina? I guess they never had burnt blue. Hello. Hello. Oh. Let's see, I always say, there's that fudge down there. I say, you think the gators would enjoy if we fed that to them? You remember these, Gina? You know, years ago, I used to always get these at the Baltimore Zoo. Yeah, I do. These, they didn't have any taste at all. No, like these snow cones? I didn't really know they made them anymore. You don't really see them anymore. Or in the newer, like, new, smaller gift shop. And if you want, they sell, you know, gator jerky here. You want some of this? Only one beer per person. Alligator jerky. How about a coconut patty? Yeah, that big giant thing. Coconut patties. <laughs> oh, I know. It's making a unique noise down there. It's like. You know, Gina, the area that we've been in has been so busy. Yeah. That one went place in Kissimmee we're driving around. We went to the movie stop and, and like you can't find anything to eat and it's been like a mess. We're trying to go to this bonefish place. And we, it's a Monday. I know, like we never went to Bonefish when we were in Maryland. There's one in Bel Air, like we always looked at it for years but never went. Because in Bel Air it was always too busy. I'm sure it's probably gonna be the same here, I hope. I'm sure. And there's a place over there called Beals. You know, I don't know what that is, like kinda like balls. Gina, what do you think about, uh, you know, Beals, a.k.a. Bulls? Beals, Bulls. What do you think about it? I think it's rather interesting. Yeah, I don't know what it is, exactly we would it's call it. Kind of it's like a mishmash. Bulls, maybe? Yeah, or T.G. Maxx. Look at that pink mixer, that's cute. Oh, yeah. Well, here we are now at Disney World, waiting for the tram. Right. Sorry my voice sounds so strange, you know. What are you going to do? Nothing. I know, it's a good thing I don't need to be using it too much. Are my glasses crooked? They seem fine. Okay. But like, I have remember, a crooked face, I think. And the one thing with Disney, though, as we're showing the video, there's a lot of things involved in getting in. It takes a while to get you have there. To first... You don't just hop in like in Disneyland. No. You've you to got to go all bus and... <laughs> yeah, and no, no yeah, I know. This and that. Step one, Gina, take the tram. Well, we're finally in here now. Yeah, it looks a lot bigger in this street. No, it is. It's wider than the Disneyland one. Yeah. But, like, that tram that the, the we took was bad. That was the stop, many stops. I mean, the monorail. Like, it went in all these different stops. And right. In the hotels. I don't know. I've never been on that one. No, that's the other side. Oh, I know. Way. But don't you just love Disney construction? Yeah. Did you know that they're animatronic, Gina? They're not really people. No, they're not. That one restaurant you wanted to go to, the Bells, had Cornish hands. Yes, they did. Ew. Otherwise known as squab. Yeah, no one wants that except David Lynch. An eraser head. Ew. It's a small peen after our Gina. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it is. Oh, I know. Speak for yourself. <laughs> now, Gina. You may say certain areas to eat in Disney are busy, but when you're people like us that don't really like people, <laughs> we sat up here and look. But downstairs, it's like every seat's taken up. Mm -hmm. It's all in secret room, just for us. Going crazy down there, right? Yeah, they're getting all wet. I know. Um, what? 
wet, Gina. Um, isn't it like what this place is made for and whatnot? Yeah. So there's no back lot tour, Gina. No. Oh. Let's go. Well, what do you do here then? I don't know. Or the, you know, MGM. I'm calling it MGM. <laughs> you know, that's the true name. I'm not calling it Hollywood Studios. MGM. That name could take a deep one. Hollywood Studios. That's a good one. Yeah. So there's the map. You gotta make sure you get the, you know, English one. Every time we come to this park, we used to come with Herb, and Herb hated this place. I know it's busy. Busy. Hey, you. You talking to me? Talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, I'm not supposed to leave my vehicle. Okay, let's see whatever you say. I think though that movie ride should update and add a couple new things oh, and uh, you know take a few th Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why they don't just change some of the, I mean, I've been thinking that for years though, why they don't just update it a little it must bit. Be only MGM but see, it's not owned by MGM anymore. All I can guess I was telling you was to license a movie would be huge. But they could put Pirates of the Caribbean in there or something. I just don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, the movies they, have, they play are classics, but there's a lot of like classics from the last, you know, since, since Alien that are classics too. Right. That are not in there because it goes well, only up to Alien. People that are younger that don't know those, a lot of those movies. There's I know. You remember years ago? I think it was like right there. They had the Goosebumps show. That was cool. And they used to have like those things where you could add yourself into a Goosebumps picture. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the connection was to Goosebumps, to MGM at that time, but I, don't know. I guess there's just something that they had. See, this whole area is with us. Yeah, this is all going to be lit up. I'll try and get some video of that later. Well, look at that street now. It's like Clark Griswold did this. Well, here we are in Epcot. Yes, sir, here we are. And do you remember back when they were actually doing these pictures? Yeah. I remember like being here when you could get them done. Yeah. I don't know if they do them anymore or not. They were real promoted when we were there, though. And that Spaceship Earth, it's okay, but like those changes kind of annoyed me. I think this is the 30th year anniversary of Epcot. I think so. Now, Gina, remember that good joke presented, presented by uh, Siemens? I don't have that. Yeah, Spaceship Earth presented by Siemens. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Close part with the cool scent. Look, Gina, the birds. The Epcot birds are gonna attack us at any moment. I know it's a good thing that Tippy Hedren isn't here. She'd have even more more grief. Yeah, what are they all doing up there, making all that noise and stuff? They're just going to attack us at any moment. Is that another one? Yeah, two of them. Where did he come? Look, there's an angel fence. Look, there's an angel fence. I always think about when they used to have those uh, baked potatoes and stuff down there. They don't have that anymore? Nope. No? You know, cheese potatoes and cheese noodles. Have a little cheese with your cheese. Oh, I know. That's a cheesy meal. And then they used to have that one thing in here, you know, fruit rocks. Yeah. And then that's gone. The best ride was in the other building with Bobcat Goldway teaching about your insides. They got rid of years ago. Well, thank God you learned it from somebody. Oh, I know.
Come on, I learned from him. All right. Look at this. Zero weight. Don't you remember when we used to have to wait in this line all through all that? This ride's real different now, though, because it's not a tour guide anymore. Right, it's an automatic. It's automatic, but it used to be a person like the Jungle Cruise pouring everything out. Now and into the future, the tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. For aquaculture, it is an innovative way to increase farmers to protect wild fish populations and produce a now, Gina, you know the original voice of Figment was the guy from Masters of the Universe movie. No, I did not A little, not know little that. fun fact. And you know, originally, I don't think I ever saw that movie. originally, it's supposed to be, you know, honey, you shrunk the audience over there because it fits together with this. It's kind of like the spin-off, but they got rid of it. Gina, the ride's so dead, look. It's not even running at the moment. They're waiting to start running until we get there. That's a sign of a, a bit of a flop. That's a sign, right? Look, it's not even running. They gotta start it up. Tell them to start, tell them to start it up. Dream, come true. Not busy at all, Gina. Now that everybody's here, would you ask for your safety that you remain here? Take that, you big bullyosaurus! All right, so we went around, we went we went around in the mall. We didn't really show much. No. But I think that's where we wanted to eat the buka. Isn't that what you yeah. said you got I'm reservations go there for? And get some lunch. All right, so let's go. Okay. I don't really know if you can show much in there, though. Probably not. They always have that music up so loud in there and everything. Oh. What the hell's going on over there? Oh my God! Max! Come out of there! Max! Oh my what the hell, God. Are oh, what the hell are you doing? Very embarrassing. Oh, Max! What are you doing in there? Tough. Well, it's good to see you, guys. What are you Maybe guys doing? Maybe we should buy here? you some lunch. We were gonna go to Buka, but what are you doing? Oh no! Don't eat there. I, they don't. The stuff's not that <laughs> Nothing good. Nothing good in there. Not good. It's not good. Come on, away from that. Yeah, that's. But how? What are you doing here? We were taking a so trip the out here and place to run into you. I was oh, just doing my, my rounds. Yeah, find our, you know, the, my babysitter. Well, yes. Yeah. And so, what has new, been new with you? Have you been, Not you know, only, staying out of jail and staying out of trouble? I've been, I've been uh, real, real, uh, real good. You can ask my parole officer. I've been doing good, leading a clean life. Uh, you know, keeping out of trouble. Yeah. I was at a, I was uh, parking cars at a convention, and somebody walked up to me and said, "Hey, is, aren't you a Max Cool Duders uh, babysitter?" But, oh yeah. So I got noticed from your little crappy show here. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Oh. So how have you been? Well, hey, you haven't seen Gina in a long time. No, your hands up. So I don't know if you want to come with us, or I don't know. I don't know really what, like what, much lunch? of what we're gonna do. No, well I just ate, oh, but okay. uh, I'll hang out with you guys for a little while. Where are you guys gonna go? You guys know? I don't know. I think we're going to eat here and then go over to the Millennium Mall or something. I don't know. We don't really have too many plans. Know. All right. Well, where did you park? I'll watch your car while you eat. Okay. Well, somewhere over that way. We so. don't really know. We just know it has a New Jersey license plate on it. Okay, cool. Well, so yeah, you can, we can hang out. That's good. All right, then. Do you have any money with you? Oh, no, well, no. I mean, <laughs> I'm not enough to don't treat. Don't look in my pocketbook. I mean, yeah, All right. So <laughs> we'll go in here and eat then. And if you want to wait out yeah, here. I'll just hang out by your car. And okay. Wait, you know? Yeah, because we're not going to pay for it. Well, Max, uh, why why are we ending the video? Why why didn't we show more today? Well, there's this, uh, you know, the, the whole thing that I'm going through right now as far as... Uh, Getting camera shy? I mean, well, what... Well, camera shy, but it has more to do with, like, you know, dodging law enforcement and... Oh. And, you know. So you kind of don't want to be filmed in places, you I know, bring yeah. attention to yourself? Well, you know... These, you can't see my ankle bracelet is beeping right now. Oh. You know, 
You're a little far from I'm a little field. I'm a little bit far outside of the field where I should oh be. My. But I wanted to see you guys. But good it was job. good to get to see you again. I mean, I, the last time people saw you was the what what video? The when we went to the Holy Land. The Holy Land. And then we did Gator Land. So people should watch. I'll put a link to that in this so people can see if they haven't seen it yet. Right. Did you even ever watch it back? Because I don't know. I did you ever get access it. to a computer? I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I'm glad that Ethan. Yeah, yeah. Ethan, if you see this, heal up from his surgery get the third nipple removed yeah so that's why he's not here yeah that's so true send everybody go to his channel and send him love and tell him that uh, you know you hope he heals up okay i will yeah. but it was good seeing you again it's good seeing you guys and you too, wouldn't know you we know? spent you know 10 hours together but yeah send me a care package if you get chance and uh, oh i will you know. i'll put some socks and stuff like that in it a little file a yeah little file, file for me so I guess we better get out of here yeah, we get before out of here. Max before tries they, to, you know, come with they us. Come and look for him. Yeah, I know, and then I'm we get. Give me a ride, I'm getting actually. bad vibes off of this. I no, think. we probably better go. No, just a little. I'm just down the road. No. You know, no, we probably better not because I mean, it, you know, you found the way out here with us, but, yeah, but we really don't feel like taking you, you back. Get back. It's know. up to your own ways. Uh, well, I, I there was I could a big try dumpster call over somebody. there that might that buy a. What's that called? A the California, yeah, factory. the Cheesecake Factory. Over there. Well, I think they have that thing where you can call somebody if you've drank too much to drive home. So I just need to find. There's you a guys Santa have in like there, six maybe. bucks. I'll buy a no. bottle. No, no. Well, that Santa might take you home. I don't have no. any liquor on my no. breath. It'll be suspicious. No. no. I'm sure you'll be all right. So we'll see you later well, then. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll so go clear on out of here then. All right. Okay, clear on out of here, Max. Clear out. Yeah, clear out. We'll see you later then. Bye. We'll see you later. Yeah, get get out of here now. Let's get out of here and let's go to, uh, where are we going tomorrow, Universal? Yeah. Are you sure yeah. I can't go with No, we'll see you no. later then. Look at that. I don't know what they're building at Universal Studios, but the Monster Cafe looks like it's back open again. And right there was where the Alfred Hitchcock show was, which is Shrek. I talked about that in the Blu-ray review. People were all wondering where it was. It was right there in that building. Where are we now, Gina? Lombard's Seafood Grill. I think we were here like back in like what, 1997 or something. Yeah. But like this park though, sometimes it's like some tears get shed here. You know, because it's like, you know, all, of you know, all the things that are gone. You know, over there, the Blue Man Group. You know, it used to be Nickelodeon Studios. And then over here, No More Jaws. They brought the back. Town. The whole I know, the whole town's there. apparently gone. I'll show when we get out front. And, and Fear Factor Live, which is kind of like, what? What's that doing here? Yeah. That, that was over and, and done with. Another section, if you look out the window there, it's they're building. Yeah, they're building the Transformers over that way. Well, you can sort of see it. But Big new place. Transformers are already in. Transformers? Yeah, even Charlotte Buff won't do that anymore. Yeah, he won't even do the new one. Everyone doesn't want to do those. I don't know. I, this King place, you know, yeah, King Kong's been gone, Alfred but gone. but that's been gone, but it but would be really good right really now. Good. I don't know. Yeah, it's, you know, I have to shed some tears for this place. All right. Don't cry too much. No, I know. We'll, we'll show out front, but this place, this park, you know, there's some things I do like, like the earthquake one I call Disaster now. Oh, it's called Disaster? Yeah, and then the other one, um, what's it? Men in Black. Men in Black. But, and E.T. is a little squinchy. And the horror make, yeah, the seats are a little bad, but the horror makeup show is still here. That's always pretty It's been fun. the same since the beginning, same but I like it. Well, here's Jaws. Look, this would, you normally would go back there and it would, and it would all be, you know, the stuff. Probably. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing, wearing peewee hats. I don't know, they're doing something fun. I don't know, they're like getting a lot of attention just themselves. Jeez, Gina, there's nobody in here. I know, it's like, look at all those empty spaces. This used to be so busy. I know. Really weird. Look at this. Pan Express here has plum sauce. If anybody knows why in California or any of the other states don't seem to have this on the West Coast, let me know. Right, Gina? Aren't you interested? I am. Now, Gina, I want to ask you now, what's in this bag here? 50 sauces. 50 sauces. I gave him $5. I said, what do $5 get me? And he's like, I'll get uh, 50 sauces. So he gave me 50 For that girl over there. plum sauces. So that'll last for a while. I'll have to try and limit it to two each time. And I have one extra one to take to one of the Panda Expresses to show them, to prove to them, Gina, that it exists. 
exist. That they exist because they they look at me like I've just you know said a dirty word or something. They're, they're made in California. I know. I mean, what the heck? But but they, you know if you go to any Chinese restaurant in California and you ask about duck sauce, even that they don't know what that is. Look at this lot. It's totally totally empty in here. I can't believe my voice is still like this. If I go to the drive thru people are, are going to think I'm a man. Wow, they won't call you ma'am anymore. You no, know, the one drive through recently, they were like, ma'am. And when I get to the drive through window, <laughs> he keeps calling me ma'am still. He had to commit to it, so he said, oh, well. I'll just oh, I know. Gina, did you notice in Animal Kingdom, everybody seems like they're leaving. Do you think Eddie Van Halen's in the front? Well, maybe the animals got out and they're all running for the exit. And they told everybody to, you know, be calm and collective and not scare the guests. Because yeah, everybody seems like they're leaving. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. There's the wait time boards. You were right though, you were saying this is a real squenchy walkway. Well, there's something about the layout. It's got very close paths and everybody has to go the same way. No, oh, I know. And you know, they said that Little Red is okay part, they got rid of her or something. I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know. Everybody has like faces like they just ate cow shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I ate some too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, definitely him. Ugh. It was okay tasting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we ate some. Yeah, me too. Yep, some for me. Mm-hmm, it was okay. Yeah. Ugh, it's stuck in my teeth. Mmm, yummy. Oh, God damn it. Nice. Uh, I think over there. Whee! I think over that way is where it is. Oh, it tastes okay. Mm, I got drinks to wash it down. Mmm, salad. El Back Rhinos weigh about 3,000 pounds. Their hide is extremely thick. And they can run at about 35 miles per hour. These things make the black rhinos almost indestructible, except for the hands of humans. Now, Gina, I hate being the kind of person that always complains, but people know I do it a bit. But you know, that ride, the safari one, used to go through it, and then the guy was like, oh, Little Red needs your help. And then the one woman, that, was like, that British woman's like, yes, can you please help Little Red? And all that stuff. They took all that out. So I told this, you they did. I tried to prepare you for it. You I know. All the stuff with the poachers. I wasn't making it up. And then that part at the end when they go real fast. And then that one guy gives a thumbs up and goes, Little Ed is okay. Yeah. It was all gone. All gone. The camp set up. So that, you know what they did? Destroyed the message about poaching. Mm-hmm. <laughs>